again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, a game that's available now. So if you'd like to pick it up, you can check down below in the description for the tracking link where you can get yourself a copy today. And at checkout, you can go ahead and support a creator with my checkout code down there. Of course, this all brought to you by Epic Games, so thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is a game that is similar to a space western. If you're familiar with things like Cowboy Bebop or Heavy Metal, you'll know the animation style and you'll know the story. And uh, games like uh, StarCraft, for example, have that same feel of being out in the wild, untamed west, which in this case happens to be space. So without further ado, let's get started. Thanks again for showing all your support, and let's begin our new game. Enjoy the intro cutscene, and thanks for joining me today. Welcome to all the new subs, and thanks as always for your support. Here we go. All right, here we are. Man, I love this intro. I've seen it a few times, but it never gets old. Apparently we're on Tatooine now. Nice ride. There comes that steam. The ship really looks good. This is a bad neighborhood for sure, too. So we are on our lookout as a basically bounty hunter and uh, basic mercenary to try to get somebody who has uh, killed our husband. The uh, murderer's name, I believe, is Ruthless. Goes by Ruth sometimes. And we're here to basically find him. So we'll ask the bartender if he's seen him. And apparently he has not. Oh well, give me some of that ice mocha coffee. There we are. Si a small size. Oh, well, looks like Ruthless found us. He's not happy. In the face. I guess he's not too happy about that. Well, hopefully she has some pepper spray or a taser or something like that. And she better have it now. Oh, that'll work. All right, there you go. That was uh, Rebel Outlaw Space Simulator 2000. Oh, never mind. Seems our story just begins. She's got to run. She's double parked outside. You know how it is with those meter fees. Oh, he is not happy. Big gash in his forehead. Looks like she's not a good shot after all. Juno's going to need to get a little bit of practice. Uh-oh. Uninvited guest. Wow, oh, everything's that space magenta. Wow. Go, girl. She's rolling. Oh, she's gonna get out of this one. She's dumping out the trash. All right, that'll work. Well, somebody call Flo from Progressive because uh, we're going to need some insurance right here. Oh, that is beautiful. And down we go. Nice intro. I really do like the animation. There's also, uh, of course, as we saw at the beginning of the game, the 3D rendered graphics as well. So it's not all just uh, animated like that. But it's a very cool intro. It's like a comic book. She at the ATM machine? Are we getting some money? Jumno, I wasn't sure I'd ever hear from you again after your transition to domesticity. Domestic life is on hold for a while. My husband is... Brace is dead, and I'm in the shit. His passing wasn't accidental? No, it wasn't. I tracked a guy who did it here to Lubbock. But the upshot is that I'm a little rusty these days. I'm no stuck kidding. on this rock until I can scrape together the cash for another ride. You know I don't like to ask for a handout, and I know it's been a long time, but... Say no more, Juno. I used to have a small waste transport operation in Texas. In-system sheeps. No jump drives. There might be one or two still in storage. Right now I'll take anything I can get. As long as my mother's not involved. Oh, mommy. Aha! There's an old Pathfinder still in mothballs on Lubbock. A platypus? Well, I did just say I'd take anything. What'll I owe you? There's a package I'm anxious to have delivered. If you could see your way clear to bringing it to me in Nevada, we could consider ourselves square. I can do that. 
So, this package. Do I need to watch my back? I like to keep a low profile, but there's no entanglement with the law. You'll need to pick up the package on Nacogdoches. Do I have a contact? Richter. Richter Brust. I'm gonna lose my lead on my target. You think you could ask around for me? His name is Ruth, but I guess he also goes by Ruthless. Big guy, lots of rings strung around his neck, dresses pretty fancy. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you know what I found when you show up in Nevada. Thanks, Orzu. See you soon. Thanks, Orzu. All right, so I'm also playing... God, this thing didn't just haul the, trash. Uh... It is trash. Oh, there's our ship right there. <sighs> Better get to it. Yeah, it is kind of a crappy ship. I'll be playing with the uh, Thrustmaster 16,000M today as well, so the game can be fully played with a joystick and throttle if you'd like to, otherwise keyboard, mouse, and I'm assuming controller would also be at your disposal too. The equipment bay, of course, uh, probably allows us to go to uh, upgrade our ship, things like weapons and defense components, and of course, uh, customization as well. We won't be doing any of that for today's purposes, I suppose, but let's head back then and check out what else there is. We also have the ability to buy some new ships, see what we've got for ships that we can earn in the future. So right now we have the Platypus, which essentially is a uh, flying garbage truck. And, uh, of course, we have the Sonora, which looks like a more upgraded garbage truck. And the Sandhawk, which is, yeah, that looks like a very nice fighter. And uh, looks like a more specialized transporter, the SPZ. And the Durston as well, which is a big boy. Damn, that thing is a big, big, big transporter. And the Coyote. The ship that we had from the very beginning of the game, which unfortunately crashed, so that's no good. But anyway, we can work our way up to that with 300,000 credits. Welcome. See anything that catches your eye? Hello, sir. I'm in the market for some new wings. I don't know, though. This might be out of my price range. She sure is formidable, isn't she? The Coyote is the absolute top-of-the-line option for folks who need to pack some firepower. And fast. Let me tell you, she's a lightning bolt. Sure, she's spendy, but it's worth it. What do you say? Um, yeah, I'd like to buy that, but uh, unfortunately I can't, so. uh, you know, I'll think about it. Thanks. Oh, that's a shame. I sure hope she'll still be here when you change your mind. Okay. Well, anyway, that, so that's what we can do is purchase new ships here. Uh, there's also the ability to play 8-ball, pool, dice, and some arcade games, too, inside the bar. So let's go take a look at that. We'll go uh, take a look at the bar and then get on some missions here and see what we can do. So, uh, yeah, we can chat with the bartender, we can go play Starvenger, 8-ball, uh, and then, of course, uh, leave the bar, too. So, let's go ahead and uh, head to the landing pad and start our first job. There's actually some jobs we can do here, too. So, just like in No Man's Sky, you can take mission board at, uh, you know, at outposts or planets or whatnot. And uh, let's see what we got for available missions. The local delivery would be good. I'll accept pretty much all the missions that are just delivery. That's really the only thing we can do right now, unless we need... Um, Oh, here we go. Simple cargo run. Oh, we need uh, jump drives for that. Probe coordinates and uh, another local delivery. I think that one requires the jump drive, yeah. Uh, let's see. Detective work, maybe. Oh, no tractor either. So there's a lot of other things we need to upgrade in order to get. Maybe we'll uh, be able to shoot somebody with our ship. You've accepted a Commonwealth mission. Completing this mission will build rapport with the Commonwealth and police, but will be despised by the Red Devil pirates. All right, well, there you go. All right, so here's the system that we're in, too. Uh, you can see here all this states uh, from the United States, some cities as well are displayed on the map. So these are the names of different systems, and each system has different types of uh, planets within it too. So for example, we are currently at the uh, Texas planet, or Texas system, so we see Lubbock and another planet as well, Austin, which I suppose is why she gets her name of uh, Texas. So let's get out of here, let's go find ourselves a job then, or uh, let's go on our first mission and figure it out from here. So let's launch and uh, begin our game. Here we go. Now there's other things you can do, like go to the Merchant's Guild and um, ally with other factions and uh, do things to get extra bonus and money, but that's much more in depth. And as we take our first look here, I suppose I just want to see what a mission is like. All right, our space minivan is approaching uh, the highway, I suppose. That's the uh, in and out system, very nice. Well, it looks like everything's online, very good. All right, yellow mission waypoints can be reached by engaging autopilot, hold Z axis, yep. All right, so now we gotta figure out where we're gonna go. So let's see. Uh, let's see, local delivery. That's a kill. What, somebody got a kill? I think that's the last of them. Okay, apparently somebody got blown up and I didn't even do anything. We'll go to our main mission, which is a little favor, but we can also do local deliveries and such, which are pretty easy. 
So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to uh, boost to hyperspace here. And see if we can do that. Autopilot, prepare. And give it to me. That is a rock. <laughs> Alright, off to a great off to a great start. I'm surprised the autopilot didn't go around the rock or that it told us we couldn't do that. Okay, well that's a thing to note for the future. Luckily we have plenty of shield, so it didn't really it only hurt my ego and my pride, that's all. Nothing else is destroyed. Uh, side mission there, beacon. Where's our main objective again? Right over here. Alright. Let's try that one more time. That's hilarious. All right. So we can also uh, switch power and switch the songs in the game. The, the game music is very, very good. I'm using the limited streaming mode right now, which kind of cuts some of the songs. But there's some good music in here that you can listen to while you're playing. And uh, it's essentially like Grand Theft Auto. You're driving around, doing missions, and listening to some good music on the side. And, of course, uh, there's a lot of travel to the game as well. So if you like Elite Dangerous... Or no Man's Sky, there's a lot of jumping between systems and picking up and delivering stuff. Okay, looks like we're close enough now. So let's land on this, uh, ooh, there we go. Autopilot disengaged. Thank you. Uh, let's land on this giant asteroid here. Look at the shadowing inside the ship. That's very nicely detailed as we rotate. You can see how the, uh, how the lighting effect is affected by the nearby sun. Okay, let's get ready to enter what essentially is a station built into an asteroid. That is cool. That is the uh, Nakadoche station that we were told to go to for uh, Orizu. So let's head in there. See if we can find a uh, position for it. I don't see a way to get into this place. Oh, there we are. I'm uh, trying to request docking. I think we have to come to a stop. Circle around again. Alright, I'm holding the Docking button for request this. Received. There we go. Automatic landing sequence initiated. Perfect. Alright. Let's see what our first mission has in store for us. 50 credit docking fee collected. What? We gotta pay for docking? Oh, that's annoying. And boom. Successful landing of the garbage truck. Alright, let's head inside and see who we have to chat with to continue our uh, campaign. So we'll visit the bar here, and uh, this is essentially just a main mission, so there's also side quests like uh, like we saw before, too, and then, of course, jobs just to get money. So let's go talk to Richter. Richter? A friend of mine told me I'd find you here. You Juno? Arzu <laughs> told me you'd be coming around. That guy's voice. Truth be told, I thought he'd be sending someone with more uh, recent experience. So much for my reputation preceding me. Well, here's the thing. That package, I don't exactly have it with me. Are you uh -oh. shitting me with this? See, the thing is, the package is a little bigger than a bread box, and it's on a brust arms convoy that you're gonna have to liberate it from. This package delivery suddenly turned into a hijacking job? Orzu gave me a damn garbage truck. I'm not sure this works out. <laughs> That's as what I called it too. Arrangement. Don't hang this on me. Now, if we do it right, won't even have to be any hijacking, because as a member of the Brust family, I can access the repeater codes that track the shipment. Hang on. If these are Brust codes, then we're stealing something from your own family business? This doesn't make any sense. It's not stealing if it's my business. My brother and I just have a uh, difference of opinion about hmm. this, and I want to avoid a nasty argument. Xander likes to lord it over me that he was born first, and la dee da, he's the CEO. But we both know that when it comes to getting things done, it's old Richter who pulls a sled. You're hanging out at a bar. I already this is a terrible idea. But I got my own problems that need solving, so let's just get it over with. What do we have to do? First order of business is to get those codes. I thought you just said you had them. I said I could access them. They change on a fixed schedule every second solar day. So what we gotta do is head to the signal repeater and get them from the source. Oh my goodness. Right. So Little many man, steps. I know a bullshitter when I meet him. And this whole planet of yours stinks. But Orzu did me a solid, so we're gonna do it. If it goes bad, though, you know whose ass I'm gonna kick. Calm down, calm down. You'll see. It's gonna be smooth sailing. So now we have two new objectives. We have to go to a, uh, 
like an antenna or a signal station and then raid a convoy. Well, it's going to get quite interesting quite soon. I would like to play some dice and slots, but, uh, uh you know, I, I can't actually hmm. say no to slots. Hold on. I got a problem. I mean, I don't have a problem. I could stop whenever I want. <laughs> See? Perfect. Heck yeah. Wow, okay. Two wins for me. Okay, that's good. That's, oh. Somehow we're playing again. Oh, okay. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, let's go and uh, swing around to a new mission now. Let's leave the bar and uh, we could also take some more missions here. And actually, we can only take a maximum of four, I believe. So, but anyway, let's just go to the um, landing pad and figure out what we can do here for our next mission that's nearby. And there we go. I do like the third person takeoff. That's pretty cool. And the fact that we're inside like a uh, asteroid. I've seen that before in uh, Elite Dangerous, and I thought that was really cool. That's a cool idea. All right, back online. Hopefully we don't hit a rock this time. My insurance only covers one rock hitting. All right, let's see what's around us. So let's see. Smooth Sailing is the name of the next one. Let's just go to uh, Auto Delivery. So right now we're just a flying dump truck. Uh, let's see. Local Delivery it is. Uh, so there's Local Delivery there. We can also do some combat with our weapon system. There you go. And of course, as I mentioned, we can make adjustments to our, uh, let's see if I can find the button, to our uh, weapon systems or to boost the engine. We can fly faster that way too. But let's just go do a simple delivery job then. Uh, right there, I believe it is. Nope, it's the one next to it. Good music though. This is going to be uh, demonetized to hell. So thanks to everybody for showing their support. Let's go. It looks like it's going to take about... Uh, we're about, I think K is kilometers, so we're about 10,000 kilometers away from the uh, mission point. But I do like the cockpit. On the right side, you can kind of see speed and auto and jump, and a lot of these things are actual uh, useful data that you do need to keep track of throughout the mission. All right. Uh-oh, distress beacon detected. I guess those are uh, side quests that just pop up at random. Probably some good rewards if we do that. I believe there's also a third person to the ship, too, though I forget the uh, button in order to view that. Let's see if I can find which button that is. Oh, there's our uh, radio stations there that we can select from. Good. There's our main menu. I can't quite remember which button allows us to see outside the ship, but there it is. Beautiful. So we have third person on the garbage truck. Almost there, so let's go ahead and get ready to jump out. Perfect. Pilot disengaged. And I believe that is our delivery mission right there. So all we got to do now is just request permission to dock. Craft inbound. Craft inbound. What is that thing there? Maybe some sort of mining vessel or something over there. Let's boost uh, speed to engines. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Boosting engine speed slightly. So you can do that with your shield, and you can also do that with your uh, main weapons as well. So that's kind of cool. What do you guys think so far? Anybody, any takers on uh, buying uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw today? This is definitely a game I think I'd like to get into a little bit more as well. It's not so much like Elite Dangerous where you're mindlessly driving around just to kind of buy new ships and stuff. There's actually an overarching storyline as to where uh, Elite Dangerous is for fun and No Man's Sky is kind of like endless as well. So this is definitely a story with a beginning and an end, which I kind of admire. And there's a lot of good art style here to this one. I do like these art styles. This is nice. Let's see if we can request permission to dock now. How close do we have to get? Again, if you do want to get... Uh, Dodge Rebel Sector Galaxy Traffic Outlaw. Control, your request is granted. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Please proceed to the designated bay. Uh, I, I'm the designated bay. All right, so yes, again, if you'd like to download this game, make sure you check down below in the description. Find the link for uh, uh, for the game. So just check down below in the description for my tracking link Objective there. Objective complete. Cargo removed. And you can download it via that. Cargo removed. Oh, it's all automatic. Wonderful. Very good. Is that Earth in the background? I can, I can hear some people screaming in the background. 
I can hear him. All right, guys, that is it for a look at uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. A really, just initial first look, and you know how it is. If you've seen these games before, these can be a real long haul. But I think with the uh, variety of ships, like the one to my left there, a lot of things to earn, a lot of time to burn, and it's a good game that if you're liking games like Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky, this is another one to kind of cleanse your palate between those games if you're getting a little bored but still want something in the whole space exploration, space trucker aspect. So, anyway... That is it, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. You are all wonderful and fantastic. So thanks again to Epic Games for the uh, sponsoring of today's video. Again, you guys can download it down below in the description if you'd like to. And thanks again for uh, supporting a creator. And you guys can find my code down below. And you can use that at checkout on the Epic Games store with the link down below. All right, thanks again, guys. I uh, am thinking about getting into this one some more. So if you want to see it on stream or whatnot, let me know you're interested. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Raptor, you hit a rock. <laughs> That's unacceptable. It was quite obvious that asteroid was there. Billy, go to bed. <laughs>